Let's go to freaking Tokyo. It's hot, it's cool, it's sunny, it's crowded. He's like, do you want to do the ceremony thing? Whoa, <laughs> I don't know about that. What's up Shibuya? You stress me out, I don't really like you. Can I move to freaking Tokyo? Okay, so today is another full packed day. I'm gonna eat breakfast at this beautiful view. But I first wanted to tell you about the whole capsule situation. It honestly worked out pretty well. Slept pretty well. The worst part is you can just hear everyone. Your capsule doesn't have a door. I did wake up a lot in the middle of the night. I didn't get a shower. But besides that, it worked out pretty well. It was cheap, it was pretty nice. I really like Japan. But why are there no water fountains? Like, save the earth or not, eat our cereal. And cream puff that got destroyed in my backpack. Do we like my outfit? A low crop top, Alia. Don't worry, I actually know her music. I'm not fake. Entering my clown era, I didn't realize it would be closed today. Regardless, I was going to another garden now anyway, but it's a far walk from here. Let's walk like three kilometers, 40 minutes. I knew it was the to Olympic Stadium. So hot. There's a store right over there that says cookie time for serious cookie munchers. That's so me. But then I'd have to go back and cross the street. I think it's not open yet. Better. I needed that ice cream. The ice cream was so good. I don't want to eat lunch at McDonald's. First, let's go to the park. It's too freaking sunny. I hate vlogging. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. <laughs> Girl, I can't wait today. It's always this time of the day. People talk to me. They asked if I want to be interviewed about why I came to Japan. They wanted me to talk about authentic food from my home area. I'm like, what's authentic in Indiana? And then I, we started talking about popcorn and Oreo and pickle flavored popcorn. I should have promoted my YouTube channel. Oh, I feel so stupid. Maybe this will go viral. Cause it could actually be a Tokyo TV, like the local ch TV. But then I'll get red for filth for not wearing a mask. I was hot. I could have put one on, but I was too flustered. But that was fun, they really interviewed me. I hope it makes it on the air. Okay, and I'm flustered and I don't really know what I'm doing. Let's go explore Meijing Shrine. We're gonna focus not on that. I could go viral and read to filth on local Japanese TV wearing a crop top looking like an absolute idiot. We're gonna focus on the Meijing Shrine. I don't know anything really about right now, so I'm gonna do a voiceover right here and tell you what it's about. You know, I finally thought I could make a video without a voiceover, but no, I was wrong! Okay, Meiji Shrine is dedicated to the Emperor Meiji, who was the first emperor of modern Japan. He helped modernize Japan to join the Western powers by the time he passed away in 1912. So at this shrine, they actually had a lot of instructions in English, which is nice. But I knew what to do, how to, how to properly give my donation. So I'm at Yojiyo Yo -Yo Park. It's, it is pretty, it's cool, but it just needs that little extra je ne sais quoi. I thought there'd be like skyline views. Sometimes you just gotta say you got an okay self timer. Stop jumping around looking like a fool, embarrassing yourself. Let's go. Take another train to a really cool area you know nothing about. Let's go. A 
before I take the train, I'm getting authentic Japanese food. McDonald's! <laughs> I'm not very adventurous with my food, and that's because of two things. I don't know how to order things, I don't know what they are. And I'm trying to save money. I spent like so much money at McDonald's. It was very small proportions, but it was good. It's like a city within a city. The issue with my feet really hurt. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty, but it's nothing spectacular. I think I'm just tired. Okay, but this shot's nice. I like this shot. So, part of me was like, I really don't want to walk anymore. I'm like a mile from the Tokyo Tower, so I just should walk to it, you know? It's a once in a lifetime trip, Noah. I'm sorry your foot's bleeding. I am really tired. I think it's all starting to catch up to me. I won't let it stop me. I can tell I'm tired. I can see it in my eyes. Y'all see it behind me. I said, do y'all see it behind me? I kind of really want to go up it. My original plans was not to do this, but then I realized it's only $12. I've been super cheap this trip, but I should do a real attraction. I haven't spent money on any attraction. So I'm going to go up for sunset. That means I have to change my plans. But now I'm exploring the temple near the tower in the park near the tower. Hopefully I can get some good pictures. And then I'll go up. I've been to so many parks today. I don't even know how many I've been to. I'm really excited I splurged. I'm really proud of myself. Guys, thank you for making me splurge. I did it for, so it'd be cool for the video. And I'm so tired. I don't want to have to walk super far. Oh. This lighting's giving. I really like observatories. I just never do them because they're expensive. $12 felt okay. Middle, and then there's the top. I'm only going the middle. The top is $30. Yeah, I'm cheap. This is currently me taking self-timers. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I have so little energy to do anything. I've been waiting for the sunset. I'm gonna grab a quick bite, like snack. And then we're gonna go up and just hope it's worth the $12. It's kind of annoying, I've been just kind of waiting for the sunset, but I need to chill. Sometimes you have to wait. Patience is not my thing. Hello, let's do this. We're taking the stairs down because I don't want to wait line for the elevator even though it's not that long. There are about 600 steps from the main observer to the building roof. It takes about 8 minutes. You cannot take the elevator in the middle of the stairs. Oh my gosh, I am so nervous. I can just talk while we go down the stairs. Beyonce, stop playing. I can't focus. This is cool. Girl, I'm glad I did this. There's some views. Sure, it's all metal gated, but this is cool. Oh my gosh, this is cool. I'm so glad I took the stairs. I was like, today kind of, parts of it, I wasn't living for it as much. I think because I'm tired, I'm hot, my feet are, it's just a lot. Like that doesn't erase how amazing this is, you know what I mean? Some things won't be amazing. Can't let that say, oh, I shouldn't travel, I shouldn't explore. It's too hard, it's not worth it. Cause look. I 
walked about a mile or so to go to a pier in Takadashi. I don't know where we are. I just wanted to go see the ocean. <laughs> it's not even the ocean, I don't think. I'm about to have a panic attack. said I want to find a spot where I can sit down and eat outside and have Wi-Fi and all those things have happened. There's a convenience store, so I got convenience store food. Don't at me because it's just easier and they didn't have anything good. I got a sandwich and I had to do it in self, the self-checkout by myself. The guy wasn't helping me and I didn't know what to do. I kept messing up and he would just tell me something really quick, but I figured it out. This is a pretty cool view. I think I should close out the vlog here. I called my mom, just ex told her about my exciting trip. Like people are gonna, when they see my Tokyo post, like, oh, he's living his best life, yes. But did you guys think I was living my best life the whole time? No, I was kind of tired. I was walking so much, I didn't always know what to do. I almost got converted to Buddhism. <laughs> like. I'm not living my best life in Japan. I'm not. It's been hard. And I don't really want to go to work that badly because it stresses me out. What I was saying is... What was I saying? <laughs> All these people are walking. I thought this was a private area. The more I do these things, I, I realize how limitless life is. Tokyo, you were life-changing. I can't wait to come back have no words to what I experienced here. It wasn't perfect, but it was perfect for me.